am i audible to both of you yes sir uh, what we have discussed in the last lecture sir we have discussed about psychometric chart and the problems okay then afterwards then sir psychometric processes we were discussing uh, sensible sensible heat sensible heat okay which processes we have discussed uh sir real uh, sir sensible heat name the processes that we have discussed we have discussed about the sensible heating and sensible cooling these two processes we have discussed yes, yes sir so what do you mean by sensible heating what is the meaning of a sensible heating process it means that you haven't studied what the things were discussed hmm? you haven't gone through the videos those were made available to you hmm? the things those were taught you are not referring that from the book as well it seems hmm rudik yes sir Have you seen the videos that complete? Hmm? The recording for the last two lectures. Have you seen that one properly? Have you listened those videos? Yes, sir. So what is the meaning of the sensible heating process then? Rudeep, can you define the driver temperature? Hello. Define the driver temperature, Rudeep. Driver temperature. Rishikesh, define wet wet bulb temperature. It seems that you are not following up the things properly. The things which should be read from the book after the conclusion of the lecture. so that follow up is not taken by you now you are not in a position to define these two simple terms these two temperatures driver temperature wet bulb temperature what is the specific humidity what is the relative humidity if you are not reading the thing then just simply relying on this one will not help you you have to work hard then yes sir i don't think you are paying sufficient attention and you are not say taking good efforts what are the things which are been taught you are not taking the follow of that one you are not practicing the things you are not reading the things properly Okay, it seems.
because based upon these definitions for the psychromatic properties, I am supposed to uh, discuss the the problems, the numericals which are related with the calculation of these psychromatic properties without using psychrometric chart. You should understand these definitions. No? Is the screen visible? Yes, sir. What is there? A, a question is there. Mm, so what is the humidity ratio? How you will define? What is the dew point temperature, DPT? Nothing will happen. Do you have a snake? Nature Mati Pakta Kayana, Dumsa Vedana Rani Saransapon Vedana, Mazay Vedana, to me a manager Karnana Star, a best Gandana Star. The Moita Tapun Tambu Malatum, when you put a binaka and wear than a point, you point this at Namala. To the Kaitu Asat Nayu. Yes, a don't think numerical ghetto. I need to mala homework ghetto. If homework do not to me, problem solve kill it. Third put the lecture gunner, I the lecture gunner. The past problem then I pass problem mala correct solve corona quiz. The patchy problem the solution to me, Sotacha notebook or solve corona. The group or attacker. These are correct as a third upon put your lecture given at the stop curve upon Jan. I have three to one problem. Some don't sound to Jay. Write down this statement of this problem. Write down. The two psychromatic properties are given to you for a certain sample of air that is the driver temperature, uh, 25 degrees Celsius, and the relative humidity. Okay, so normally the two properties are given in the statement of the problem. Here it is the driver temperature. And relative humidity, so that is nothing but the phi. Okay, relative humidity is represented by the symbol phi. So 50% is the relative humidity, and dry bulb temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. And generally in the examination, so it is what this one without using psychrometric chart. Okay, it means that by default you have to use the psychrometric relations. The mathematical equations that we have seen in the previous lectures. So these equations will help to find out the various psychrometric properties. So what psychrometric properties we have to find out? Partial pressure of the water vapor. So partial pressure of the water vapor, it means PV. And that of the dry air. So that is nothing but the PA. Okay, you have to find out the partial pressure of the water vapor, that is PV and the partial pressure of the dry air, that is the PA. You have to find out the dew point temperature. And you have to find out the humidity ratio, so which is also nothing but the specific humidity. It is also known as the specific humidity. The meaning of both is the same. Specific humidity, that is nothing but the omega. The specific volume. So that is nothing but the Vs specific volume that has to be calculated and enthalpy H that you have to find out. And it is mentioned that at the end, the barometric pressure, so that is nothing but the Pb. Barometric pressure also known as the total pressure. So this barometric pressure is given as 740 millimeter of Hg. Okay, so that is nothing but a 740 millimeter of mercury. So let us see one by one how to calculate these different psychrometric properties without using psychrometric chart or by using the psychrometric equations.
So we know that the Dalton's law of the partial pressure. So barometric pressure. So PB that is equal to PA plus PV. The Dalton's law. The very first equation that we have seen was the Dalton's law of the partial pressure. So which is nothing but PB equal to PA plus PV. So summation of partial pressure of the dry air and partial pressure of water vapor. And this PB that is given to us, that is 740 millimeter of Hg. So let us convert that in appropriate unit. Okay. So appropriate in unit, it means that let us say in bar or Newton per meter square that we should convert because the pressures in bar. So that will be helpful for us to use the steam table if some other properties are required to be noted. So this PB equal to rho into G into H. Okay, this partial pressure, that is the barometric pressure rather, PB, it is a static pressure. So it is given as rho into G into H, where rho is nothing but the density of mercury because it is the 740 millimeter of mercury that is given to us. Na? Isn't it? It is nothing but the 740 millimeter of mercury that is given. So this rho is nothing but the density of mercury. G is nothing but the gravitational acceleration. And H is nothing but the height of this column. So that is given as 740 millimeter. Okay. So this PB equal to the density of the mercury is 13,600. You should know this one. It is not given in the problem. But you should know that the density of the mercury is 13,600 kg per meter cube. Okay, 13,600 kg per meter cube into gravitational acceleration. So that is constant equal to 9.81 and into the height of this column that is 740 millimeter of Hg. So 740 divided by 1000 that is in meter. Okay, so find out how much this value is PB equal to. Let me know how much is this value. Find out. Use the calculator and let me know what is the value of this uh, barometric pressure. So that will be obtained in uh, bar. This will, this will be rather Newton per meter square. This will be in the Newton per meter square. Find out. Sir, uh, nine 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 eight seven two seven. How much uh, it is? Nine eight nine eight seven two seven. Eight minute, eight minute. Nine eight seven two seven. Okay. Point eight four. Okay, so that may it is in Newton per meter square. This is in Newton per meter square. But we see that in the steam tables, the pressures are given in bar. So you have to convert this pressure in bar. Okay. So this 9827.84. So it should be divided by 10 to the power 5. So this pressure PB will be then in bar. Okay, so this PB will be in this many bar. So that is equal to 0 0.98, let us say 7, up to 4 digit we will take. Okay, 9873, let us say, we will round out to 9873 bar. Okay, so this barometric pressure in bar is obtained as 0 0.9873. Okay. Uh, then we have to find out uh, what it is given. The, the relative humidity is given. Phi is given to us. So relative humidity phi equal to. Okay, so that is nothing but the PV divided by PS. Where this PV that we have to find out partial pressure of the water vapor. And PS. So that is nothing but the saturation pressure. Saturation pressure at given dry bulb temperature. Okay, so this PS should be obtained from the steam table then at 25 degrees Celsius. 
read what is the value of partial pressure or the saturation pressure. So tell me what is the value at 25 degrees Celsius, the saturation pressure, how much it is? Please see what is that value and tell me. Use the steam yes. table and at 25 degrees Celsius, tell me what is the value of corresponding saturation pressure. How much it is? For, uh, uh, the How much it is? Specific and hmm? For specific, uh, no, the pressure. PS. Pressure. We want to find out the pressure PS at 25 degrees Celsius driver temperature 20. on the steam table. Zero. 0 0.0317. Okay, 0 0.0317. That is in bar. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is taken from steam table. Psychometric chart. Not from psychrometric chart. It is from steam table. Yes, yes, it's steam table. Sorry. It is from the steam table. Steam table. So we know this value of PS, we know the value of Y. Okay, relative humidity is known to us. So we can find out the PV then, isn't it? Relative yes, sir. humidity is given at 0 0.5. PV we have to calculate. And PS we have noted from the steam table 0 0.0317. So your first answer that is PV will be known. So that PV will be nothing but the PV. How much it is? Zero point What is the value of PV? Zero point zero one five eight five. Zero point zero one five eight five. That is nothing but the bar. So this is your first answer. Okay, that is the PV, partial pressure of the water vapor that you have calculated. You have to calculate the PA also. Okay, this PA also has to be calculated. And we know that the barometric pressure PB equal to PA plus PV. Okay, so PB that is known to us, we have calculated here the barometric pressure. Isn't it? 0 0.9873 that was calculated or that is given in millimeter of HG. We have calculated that in bar. PA we have to calculate. PV, so that is known from the first calculation 0 0.01585. Okay, so you can calculate the partial pressure of the dry air that is in bar. Find out this as well. 0 0.01564 mm. One minute. Sir, 0 0.97145. 0 0.97145. So this is also your answer. Okay, so PA and PV both are determined. Partial pressure of the water vapor and partial pressure of the dry air. Okay, now the dew point temperature. 
So what are the partial pressure of the water vapor that you have calculated? 0 0.01585. So at this pressure, see what is the temperature from the steam table. Okay, go to the steam table. And at this value of 0 0.01585 or very close to this pressure, see what is the temperature from the steam table. So that is nothing but the dew point temperature. So refer the steam table again. So this is from steam table. Uh, sir, 13 degree. It is around 13 degrees Celsius. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So it is around 13 degrees Celsius. So this is also your second answer. Okay. So this first was calculated, we have calculated this second as well. The next part is nothing but the humidity ratio, that is nothing but the omega. So what is the formula for the omega, tell me. How to calculate the specific humidity or humidity ratio, tell me what is the equation. The Previous sections, previous lectures. We have seen these different psychrometric relations. What is the formula equation to find out this omega specific humidity? Sir, uh, zero point six two two. Okay, PV 0.622 uh, PV hmm? upon PB minus PV. You are having the value of PV with you? Uh, okay, you have yes, calculated sir. that. And the PB is also known to you? Yes, sir. Okay, so you can calculate this one. 0 0.622 into what is the PV that we have calculated? So that was 0 0.01585. Okay. That was the value of PV. And divided by PV. So PV was 0 0.9873. Minus the PV. So that is 0 0.01585. Okay. So find out this one. So this omega specific humidity. This is your third answer. So that will be in kg per kg of the dry air. Okay, That will be in kg per kg of dry air. Okay, So that is your answer number three. Specific humidity or humidity ratio. Find out this one. Six point one two nine zero. Find out this omega. Uh, sir, sir, zero point zero one zero one four eight four three. 0 0.01014. So we'll round it to the 0 0.01015. Yes, sir. So that is kilogram. So if you want to convert that in gram, you have to multiply it by 1000. So it will be around 10.15 gram per kg of the dry air. Okay, so this is your answer. Either you can express in kilogram per kg of the dry air or 
gram per kg of the dry air. Both are same. Yes, sir. Is it okay? Yes, sir. <clears throat> then yes, I want to calculate the specific volume Vs. So if I use the ideal gas equation or equation of state that is equal to PV equal to MRT. I need I write down it for the air then. Partial pressure of the dry air into VA into mass of the air, gas constant for the air and temperature of the air. Okay. And I know that this volume divided by the mass. Okay. So that is nothing but the specific volume. Vs. Okay. Meter cube per kg. So I will have this as Ra into Pa divided by Pa. Okay. So this equation will be used to calculate the specific volume. Okay. So to find out the specific volume, so R A gas constant for the air. What is the gas constant for the air? How much it is? <clears throat> what is the gas constant? ये पहिल्या स्लाइड मध्ये होता आपला युनिट नंबर 4 च्या पहिल्या स्लाइड मध्ये मी आर ए ची व्हॅल्यू सांगितली आहे तुम्हाला ही तोंड पाठ पाहिजे विचारायची पण गरज नाही पडायला पाहिजे दिस 287 जूल पर केजी केल्विन टेंपरेचर ऑफ द एयर म्हणजे ड्राई बल्ब टेंपरेचर 25 डिग्री सेल्सियस कन्वर्ट दैट इन केल्विन The pressure in Newton per meter square, PA. So PA you have calculated at 0 0.97145. So that was in bar. Convert that in Newton per meter square. You have to multiply by 10 to the power 5. So this is your specific volume in meter cube per kg. Okay, this is your answer. Find out. What is the value of Vs? Uh, 0 0.88039. 5. Okay, so it is around 0 0.88. So that is sufficient. Okay, so this specific volume is also calculated. The fourth unknown. Now only enthalpy is remaining, H. Okay, so let us see how to calculate the enthalpy. What is the equation for the enthalpy? H equal to? Tell me. How, how to write down this enthalpy? Tell me the equation. Uh, uh, sorry. H is equal to hmm? 1.022 1.022 uh, uh, plus D plus uh, omega. No, into TDA. 1.022 into TD plus yes, sir. omega uh, into omega HFGDP hmm? uh, plus 2.3 Hmm? plus dp into into sorry sir 
इंटू डीपी टीडी ठीक है सो दिस एच इक्वल टू देन वन पॉइंट जीरो टू टू डायबल टेम्परेचर कि ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस प्लस ओमेगा किती फाइंड आउट केली आपण जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन झिरो वन फाईव्ह बरोबर एच एफ जी सो कॅल्क्युलेट दिस एच एफ जी टेम्परेचर फ्रॉम स्टीम टेबल ओके सो दिस व्हॅल्यू शुड बी टेकन फ्रॉम द स्टीम टेबल एच एफ जी डी पी should be taken from the steam table at the dew point temperature of 13 degree celsius to find out how much it is go to the steam table and see what is the value of hfg uh, uh, sir for 13 degree uh, celsius mm -hmm. the value is 2470.7 रिक्वाड आंसर find out this h equal to हॅलो फाईव्ह झिरो पॉइंट नाईन थ्री वन झिरो नाईन किलो जून पर के जी ओके फिफ्टी पॉइंट नाईन थ्री किलो जून पर के जी सो दॅट इज अ व्हॅल्यू ऑफ एनथालपी Okay, so that way all the five unknowns can be calculated. Okay, very simple problem as such. Yes, sir. Okay. So this will complete the first exercise. Sir, uh, shall I write two steps are in the class? Yes. Yes, Rishikesh. सर खालचे फक्त दोन तीन स्टेप राहिले तेवढे लिहितो सर येस येस प्लीज राईट डाऊन नो प्रॉब्लेम वी आर ऑलमोस्ट टुवर्ड द एंड ऑफ द लेक्चर अराउंड लास्ट थ्री फोर मिनिट्स आर रिमेनिंग so if the meeting ends then we will join with the same link for the next meeting as well no immediately we will join with the second lecture okay we will not take any break we will immediately start with the second lecture is it understood yes sir Yes, sir.
Okay, so I will end this meeting and immediately within two minutes, we'll join with the second meeting. Okay, sir.